All right, so just as you just saw, the kitchen has come a long way from painting the cabinets to doing the walls to doing the backsplash, which is what we're going to talk about in this video. And you might have seen it before when it was on House Hunters and I was just talking about how it looked like a Mardi Gras color or the Lakers colors. So uh, we went with a simple white for the backsplash and sage green for the cabinets. And the contrast really, really makes this kitchen pop now. A lot simple and modern, which I really enjoy. So in this video, I wanted to do it a year after I did the painting. So I just wanted to make sure that the quality and the finish was going to maintain itself. And I'm not telling you guys to do something that ultimately is going to fail. And the quality of finish definitely has held up. And if you want to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you have any comments or questions about the materials or the process about the painting or anything, just let me know in the comments section. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The main thing you want to do when it comes to your next splash is you want to make sure it's clean so it has a good adhesion to the primer remove the wall plate coverings for your electrical outlets you want to protect your countertop and protect your walls as well and basically that's all and it shouldn't take that long it's like maybe a day process you have to wait for the primer to be fully bonded and dry out it takes maybe an hour to four hours it just depends on the temperature in your area and then you want to apply your paint, at least maybe two coats, just to make sure everything is good. And you want to apply your paint kind of quickly. This is a, an extreme bond, so anything will stick to it. So you don't want to wait days or weeks because you're going to have a lot of dirt, other stuff just getting on that primer before you can put the paint on there. So usually you just want to take care of that the same day that you put the primer on there. So now that I have one coat of the Extreme Bondo worn, it laid a pretty good finish um, for the bottom. And again, these were glass tiles, so that's the reason why we use the Extreme Bonder. It allows for basically to stick anything, and you want to do it like as soon as you're done. So I'm going to now apply the first layer of paint. I'm using the emerald. This is the exact same paint that I use for the cabinets. I'm gonna do two coats. So after about an hour, actually I think after about four hours, it's good for a recoat. Don't have to use an air gun. I just like using an air gun because it gives a smooth finish, but you can obviously use a roller or a brush. It just takes a little bit longer, but again, using my air gun by Great Gov Ultra should be done in like relatively quickly. So let's get to it.
Okay, so it's been four hours with the first coat. We're going to put on the second coat, basically doing the same thing. We're using an Emerald by Sherman Williams. Make sure you have your protection on. All right, so we're going to let that dry. All right, so there we have it, how to paint your backsplash. If you want to know about the material or the products that I use, I definitely recommend the spray gun that I use. I have that in the description below. Or if you have any questions about the paint colors or anything that you might have not seen in the video or didn't cover, let me know in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future painting projects or any other projects that I like to do in this house when it comes to the electronics or just maintaining the backyard. So till next time, peace.